Okay, we're going to continue with this next video. We're going to be working with parallel and perpendicular lines. By definition, parallel lines have the same slope, and they never cross and never touch. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Opposite reciprocal, let me give you an example of opposite reciprocal, meaning if I had two-thirds, the opposite reciprocal of that would be negative 3 over 2. So these are opposite reciprocal. Okay, it has to be both um, for it to be classified perpendicular. It can't be just one or the other. It has to be opposite and reciprocal. Alright, so when we look at number 14, these are already in slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b, so I name my m. In this first equation, my m is 5. It's right there. In my second equation, my m is 5. These slopes are exactly the same, so these lines are parallel because they're the same. Alright, in number 15, uh, both equations are in slope-intercept form, so that's nice. So m, my slope is 2, and in the second equation, my slope is 1 half. These are not the same, and they're not opposite reciprocals. They're reciprocals, but one's not positive and the other's not negative, so this one is neither. All right, number 16, they're not in slope-intercept form yet, so I'm going to take equation um, 1 off to the side over here. I take 2x minus y equals negative 10, and I'm going to solve for y. Get y by itself so I can name my slope. Then divide everything by negative 1. So y equals 2x plus 10. Okay, and then now I'm going to take equation number 2 right here and solve for y. I'm going to move 2x to the other side. So I have 4y equals negative 2x plus 2. And then I'm going to divide everything by 4. So that I can have y by itself. So y equals negative 1 half x plus 1 half. Alright, now that they're both in slope-intercept form, I want to name the slope. The slope of this one is negative 1 half, and the slope of this equation is 2. Okay, they're not the same, but one's negative and one's positive, and they're the reciprocals of one another because 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1, so this one is going to be perpendicular. opposite reciprocal. Okay, number 17, it says um, a line that goes through these two points and a line that goes through these two points. Well, I need to know the slope of line 1. The slope of line 1, I'm going to use my formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So for line 1, I have y2, which is 0, minus y1, and then I have x2 minus x1, so that gives me negative 5 over 10, which is negative 1 half, okay? And then for line 2, I'm going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 is 0 minus y1 is negative 10, x2 minus x1, add my inverse there, so I have 10 over 5, which is 2. Now I want to compare these two. The slope of line 1 is negative 1 half. The slope of line 2 is positive 2. They're opposite. One's negative and one's positive, and they're reciprocals. So these are also perpendicular. Okay, number 18 says find the slope of the line parallel to this one. First of all, if it's parallel to it, it's going to be just similar um, shape of it, but it's going to be exactly the same shape, same slope. So if I find the slope of this line, then I will know the slope of my 
parallel line, so solve for y. So I'm going to move 5x to the other side. I have negative 2y equals negative 5x plus 6. Divide everything by negative 2. y equals 5 halves x minus 3. My slope of the first line is 5 halves, and since I know the equation parallel is exactly the same, the slope of my second line is also 5 halves as well. Number 19 says find the slope of a line parallel to negative 3x plus 4y equals 10. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to solve for y. If I can find the slope of the given line, I'll know the slope of the parallel line because they're exactly the same. 4y equals 3x plus 10. Divide everything by 4. And y equals 3 fourths x plus 5 halves. So my slope of my given line is 3 fourths. So the line parallel to that will be exactly the same, which would be 3 fourths as well. Okay, we're moving on to section 3.3, which is the slope intercept form. Now we're going to be graphing using this form. We've done a lot of practice naming the slope and the y intercept, but now once we name slope and y intercept, we're going to use those to graph. So in number one, remember if we have y equals mx plus b, we said my slope is negative two and my y intercept is zero, three. Okay. Our y intercept, we always start with our b, which is our y intercept, and we put a dot. So we go to the order pair 0, 3 on our y intercept, we put a dot, and then we want to rise over run. Well, I can make this a fraction by putting it over 1, so that means go down 2, right 1. So from my original blue dot, I go down 2, right 1, and then I put a dot. Okay, and then I'm just going to graph my line from there. Number two, this is y equals mx plus b. My slope is one half. My y intercept, there's nothing over here, so it's a known zero, so zero, zero. So it's the origin. Alright, so I start at my y intercept. And then I rise over run. So that's up one, right two. So from my y intercept, I go up one, right two. And then I put a dot, and then we graph those. Number three, y equals mx plus b, my slope is 1 half, my y-intercept is 0, negative 4. Make sure you do not forget that sign right there. So I'm going to start at 0, negative 4, and then I rise over run. So I go up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2, and then I just graph those. Okay, number four, I need to solve for y. So I have 2y equals negative x plus 8. Divide everything by 2. So we have it in slope-intercept form, and that's negative 1 half x plus 4. So my slope is negative 1 half, and my y-intercept is 0, 4. And that's where we're going to start. We start at 0, 4. And then we rise over run. So that means down one, right, down one, right two. Down one, right two. And then we graph the line through those. Okay, in this last part, all we're going to do is write the equation. Now we're going to work backwards. This is my M. So we have, whoops y equals 
m x plus b. I need to substitute my m in and my b in. So y equals my m is negative 1 and my b is plus 1. So y equals negative x plus 1. Over here my m is 1 half and my y-intercept is 0, negative 6. So I say y equals m x and then plus b my b is a negative 6 and number 7 is y equals m x plus b your y intercept is 3 4 so it's just being able to go back and forth from slope intercept um, given the slope and the y intercept and writing the equation or taking it from the equation and give the slope and the y intercept